Hi. I don't even know what to say because um, I'm trying to realize what I'm actually doing. The thing is that I really don't know why I'm doing it. Okay. I decided that I want to solo travel for the first time in my life, being 18. I was like, yeah, I've done shitload of things being 18 for the first time. I moved to Vienna, I started university, blah, 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 a lot, a lot. So this year is just like a lot of experience, like a lot of new experience. And I'm turning 19 in less than a month. And I was like, th that's the thing I also want to do being 18, solo travel. But now I arrived to Spain to the north coast, to the city Santander and I'm like, what are you doing? What am I doing? I really don't know It's almost half past 10 a.m. so it's super early I woke up at 4 today um, I slept less than 4 hours so we'll see how the day goes pretty much I am scared, I am excited, I'm happy that I'm doing it I'm also afraid it's like a lot of feelings, mixed feelings, but it will be fine, like, I'm fine. The sun is beautiful, that's, that's what I need, that's what I like, vitamin D come to me. I checked, literally coming from airport to the city, what's here, and not that many things are here apparently, so... I don't know, but I'm leaving tomorrow, like, I just hope that I'm not gonna be bored. Yeah. ago I would say because my phone like the battery on my phone was dying and I'm on Google Maps all the time because I don't want to get lost or anything now it's slightly before 6 I will still go and just enjoy the city walk somewhere where I still haven't been to my idea was to leave Santander tomorrow at 10 at 2 p.m. but I think I will leave it at 6 45 a.m. Uh, because that's the thing like I've seen most of the city, it's not that big and like I think I would be just bored tomorrow uh, so I prefer to wake up earlier and have more time in other places uh, but we'll see how it goes, I still don't have a ticket or anything Hello, good morning, yeah, like the light sucks, but that's the thing, um, I'm just under the lantern. Um, here are my things, and I arrived to the new town, it's not even a city, it's a town. Oh, I see a dog. It's still before the sunrise, the sunrise here is around half past eight right now, and it's 7.55 It keeps getting brighter and brighter but when I was leaving Santander um, and I was walking like through the city to the station to take my bus it was so weird because there were a lot of people like coming back from the parties outside I have another bus at 3 p.m. so I have 7 hours that's a lot now it's slightly cold but it will get better
It's half past 10, so I've been here for nearly three hours, let's say. I enjoyed the town itself, like, it feels kind of magical, I don't know why. And I'm super glad that I came so early, because it was literally like I was up before the whole town was, let's say. Like, as I told you at the very beginning, some people were just walking around. I went to a beach with surfers. I was like, what? And I, I was just watching them. That, that was super nice, really. And with the sunrise, just like, it's magical. In general, this place was recommended to me by two people. So it's not like that random, I guess. I like it. I can recommend it. Like, the name of the town is... I will write it. I'm completely not in the rush for anything. And that's also a good thing. I'm just chilling, walking wherever I want. I don't have to use Google Maps. That's also a nice thing. That like I sometimes look where, where is the castle, where is something that I want to arrive to, but I don't turn the navigation on. I just like stroll around the random streets and then I come to a place. And that's the thing, that it's just small and I can do that. So... People seem super nice because I'm just walking like with my big backpack. I stand out. I am aware of that, especially here. I do stand out. I know that. And people just look at me. They say hola or buenos dias. And I'm like, oh, hi. I don't know any Spanish. So even when I went for breakfast and ordered something, I'm like, okay, cafe con leche. I know that's coffee with milk. Um, but I was like, oh, I need to eat something. And I didn't know what I wanted, but then just the guy said that they have, like, tortilla de patata. I'm managing to get on my own and get around and speak with other people, so that's good. That's good. Not knowing Spanish, but it works somehow. I carry on, keep in Oviedo uh, and I will stay here for one night. I already checked in the hostel and I just want to explore the city center because I'm staying in the city center, grab some dinner for sure. Good morning, it's just Sunday morning in Oviedo. It's slightly after 9 a.m. and uh, I have to check out till 11 and I have a train at 12. So my plan is to go out now for like hour and a half, I guess, uh, just to visit the city without the backpack and then come back, pack till the end and go to the train station pretty much. I woke up slightly before 8 ate breakfast because that was included in this hostel which was nice like it was super basic but I paid less than 20 euros in general for everything so perfect Honestly, I have to say, yesterday evening, I was kind of like disappointed in the city. I was like, uh, okay, nothing special is really here. Like the city center is mostly just some shops, whatever. Uh, like, of course, there are some things, but to be honest, not that much. Like, it's a bigger city, so I expected like more than in comparison even with Santander. Today, when I'm walking, and it's absolutely empty. Now I'm like in one of the main streets that was so crowded yesterday. I'm still walking to the same places as yesterday, but that's the thing that now it's absolutely empty and it's just like, okay, I can walk and just enjoy and not care like and be annoyed at other people. So that's super nice. Um, 
But yeah, like personally from what I've seen in Oviedo, I wouldn't come here back. I'm again reunited with the sea. I went to the city Kiho, uh, which took me like 30 minutes by train. I have like slightly more than three hours here and then I'm going to Madrid. Uh, so I just want to walk around the city and see as much as I can. I have my backpack, so not that comfortable, but it's fine. lunch and I just want to say I'm going for my train now but what's very popular from this region which is Asturias it's cider and I wanted to try it but the thing was in the restaurant that at least I went to but I think it's in general the thing that you can only get it in bottle which is like I think 0.75 so for one person it's quite a lot especially for me like I wouldn't be able to drink it fully so I took a glass of wine but I was like oh I wanted a glass of the cider and yeah the city itself is really nice I would say and the time that I had here it was enough for me at least uh, which included one hour of lunch so for a one day trip or so just to chill it's super nice and the fact that it's near the sea that's like beautiful i like it a lot listen i just have to praise <laughs> really because i just arrived to the hostel in madrid and i'm staying here for three nights in general i booked female shared room for four people as the fact that i arrived late i guess um the room was fully booked and they didn't have any more space so i got free upgrade for one night for totally private room this is fancy like that's not this that's not my standard for this trip for sure mm, but i like it a lot and i have to do a room tour because of that so we enter we have a small chilling area let's say that i will use on my own here is the sink and another mirror that's me and here is the bed and the bed is for two people i will sleep alone in a huge bed i really can't remember the last time that i slept in a bed like that on my own like ah, that, that's so cool here is the shower kind of like see-through thing going on i'm just going to chill for tonight maybe grab some food but i don't know like it's after 10 and i'm tired um but this is like i'm so grateful for that like i don't need it at all that's for sure and i have a private balcony that's one more thing like it's absolutely private so yeah <laughs> So random, but so nice, really. Like, that's one just for one night, and tomorrow I have to change rooms, but it's totally okay for me, so yeah, that's it. Oh, whoa, okay, no, that wasn't smooth, it was supposed to be so smooth. Nope, didn't work. Hola from Madrid. Um, it's two, after 12, I think, and I'm actually going to like Royal Palace. I saw the building like an hour ago. And I was like, ah, you know what, I would actually like to go in and ticket is um, 6 euros for students. So I was like, yeah, let's buy it. So I bought it online for like quarter after 12. You occupy my headspace, my mental soil. Can't change that dependent, that's true. Swear on what I got, you'll be the one. Won't make it out, news of the month. Talk of the town, no way around it. If you bless it, it's turn curses, I'm around, yeah. Mean these verses like every word I'm about that Let the whole world know that you found me Yeah, yeah This thing was the coolest ex experience ever I don't know why, but I'm so hyped about it 
It's wow, speechless, literally speechless.